The two main settings for controlling dynamic lighting can be found on page settings and token settings. Let's start with page settings. Click the blue page toolbar icon at the top right corner of your screen, and then click the page settings cogwheel next to the page you'd like to turn dynamic lighting on. A pop-up will appear. Click the dynamic lighting tab and then toggle the dynamic lighting switch to on. These other modes require dynamic lighting to be on, so we'll go over those in another video. For now, click OK at the bottom. You might notice that the page goes a little dim. That's a sign that dynamic lighting is working on the current page you have. Next, let's apply some settings to a token or some artwork, so it behaves differently in this new environment. Double-click a token and click the dynamic lighting tab. Here you'll find two ways this token can function in dynamic lighting, vision and admitting light. You can have both on at the same time, but you need at least one on for the token to do anything in the dark. Let's turn them both on and set the emitting light distance to 20 feet. Great! Now our page has dynamic lighting turned on and our token has customized settings. If you're ever curious what a player might see during a game, select their token and press Control L at the same time. This will give you a preview of your player's view and is pretty helpful when setting up your game.